So let's talk about something like related to unemployment and uh, <clears throat> oh, okay, yeah. need needing and uh, uh, I mean we've already talked a lot about a lot of th things. Uh, I know you said before that uh, you're gonna continue your YouTube channel for about uh, one and a half year, maybe two years, and then if nothing happens, then you're gonna. Uh, call it a day and just stop doing it we've already kind of talked about that and I kind of feel the same way if I don't get enough views and you know that sort of thing then I'll just stop doing it in the future maybe and I don't know I actually don't know when uh, that potential period will come uh, mm -hmm. but uh, right now I think that uh, my videos is doing pretty well when it comes to likes and views and watch time, but um, I think I'm growing very slow, a little bit too slow actually. On average, I grow one subscriber per day, and that's too slow. You know, you can just do the math on that. And yes. you know, uh, if I do this one year, that's 365 subs if i make if i keep that uh acceleration so to speak then it's uh you know in 10 years it's only three four thousand subscribers so something yeah. needs <laughs> yeah in 10 years so something needs to happen you know <laughs> yeah, yeah you just gotta make uh some viral videos you know become That's ball cows like we were talking about <laughs> yeah you're right become a lol cow mm -hmm. but i mean my my latest i can't talk my latest videos uh mm -hmm. the titles on those videos like the last videos the title is uh uh i'm a failed human being uh, essence of need them <laughs> yeah. yeah so i think that's interesting but at the same time you don't want to, you know, spend the rest of your life talking about all this depressing stuff, right? Yeah, for sure. I feel like when you talk about it, it just like reinforces it and then makes you feel even more like what you're talking about. So, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. But then also I've uh, had some people saying that, and I think it, this comes from you as well that uh, people say that uh, it could be great could be a great story arc to um, have this college university uh, attempts uh, with my channel uh, mm -hmm. like I'm over 30 years old and I try to do university that could be a great story arc for the channel uh, sure yeah maybe I feel like then also yeah sorry I was gonna say, like, I feel like there's not really that many people like being that honest and going through the same experience. So, like, most university videos are just about people like having the time of their life and you know not showing anything bad. But you could like show like right. everything. So it's like like right. the struggles too, and then yeah, it might be like a pretty cool. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, because I feel that uh, that's actually the reality of the situation. I am, mm -hmm. you know, struggling. I mean, shit, man. I don't even want to think about it because it's, it's so depressing, the state mm -hmm. of my life right now. Uh, so yeah, if I'll just keep pushing that out, uh, I don't feel that I have. I wanna. I mean, I feel that I have nothing to lose. To be honest. So I'll just keep pushing it mm -hmm. out. To the channel yeah. and to people. Yeah, why not? I feel like if it's if it's entertaining to people, if it makes them feel a little bit better, then that's the value in it. Right. Yeah. And I'm sure, like, for there's them, gonna be some people who find it entertaining, like, no matter what, you know, like, um, or like it'll be even more entertaining yeah. to some people. So you might like, uh, yeah. I guess, expand your audience 
in that way. Yeah. Yeah. I've also been talking with uh, some people about uh, stomach issues. They also say that, yeah, I also... Uh, actually, a lot of people are on uh, limiting diets because of God knows what. So that's that's also a good story thing for my channel. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. The university attempts and the stomach problems that I have, the disease that I'm trying to overcome, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, just uh, like trying to like fix that uh, condition. like Exactly. Basically. Yeah. One day sit in front of the camera with the pizza. That would be awesome. <laughs> True, yeah. That'd be like really, uh, like a really wholesome uh, story, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think you were half joking when you said this to me before, but you're like, oh, yeah, of course. I forget where you said this, but you're like, yeah, one day I'm going to be eating like a pizza and doing a mukbangs or something. Yeah, right. Mukbang. Yeah, right. Yeah, do like a celebratory mukbang when like you manage to figure exactly. it out. Yeah. yeah you can even do like a live stream or something, you know, like a. Live stream yes. the first time you're eating something that's not like potatoes or rice. It's pretty cool. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, right. Some sort of live stream where I just sit there and with the table full of stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah. And just be like, and you could be like, uh, like super emotional about like eating these things for like the first time in a while. Cause like I definitely would like, cause. It probably like sucks a lot to not be able to like eat all these things that I guess you used to eat before for like so long. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks very. I can't believe that I am in, in this situation. This is like, I don't know if I'm if I'm correct or right. I don't want to be a moral bag talking about this, but sometimes uh -huh. I just feel that. I rather have cancer than the situation that I'm in right now, and that's absolutely not, mm -hmm. you know. Having cancer is, of course, hideous. I mean, it's a, uh, it's a. Uh, I don't find a word for it, but you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but this is so. And I, again, I don't want to, you know, oh, it's so uh, poor me, you know, I don't want to be like that as well. But I'm just saying this is really not preferable. And I can't mm -hmm. believe I'm, I am in this situation. Shit, man. Yeah. Like, like if you have, if, mm -hmm. like, if you have some sort of cancer, you know, you can eat whatever you want. You go to the doctors, you go to the hospital, and you get treatment. And then, mm. you know, most of the time, you get over it. Uh, yeah. But maybe that's a really bad comparison because you, you actually die because of cancer sometimes. You don't necessarily, necessarily die because of stomach issues. But I think there's some uh, death cases in that too so yeah i don't know i mean i think what you're saying is sort of understandable because i feel like food is such a huge part of just like living and everybody basically likes to eat so if you like can't enjoy yourself exactly while living then like what's the point you know and exactly yeah. Yeah, i used I'm to sure think like, of it mm -hmm. yeah sorry yeah i was just say like i'm sure it's hard in like different ways but it's probably like equally as hard you know like yeah yeah i've been thinking like this like life consists of three things it's procreation it's uh, food and it's shelter so that's mm -hmm. three things so 30 percent is uh, food the other right, two yeah. is also 30 percent mm -hmm. to make you know to make it 100, you know, completion, you know, life. So, That's true. 
So if you look at it that way, then food is a very major part of surviving, to enjoy life, to socialize with people, to feel good about yourself. Yeah, everything. Right, yeah. Like if you're depressed, people say that, oh, go home, cook some food, have something nice to eat. You know, it's almost like a medication. Mm Mm-hmm. Mentally, That's true. if you and it's so much in our culture, we we cook food together. It's a major industry in the society. It's everything. It's everything. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a defining aspect of a lot of different cultures. And it also, um, it's also something that like everybody can relate to, I guess, in a way, like, Exactly. Yeah. so yeah. Exactly. To not be able to partake in that. Yeah, I'm sure it must be hell. True. Yeah. But I'm, 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 um, again, I'm not saying, oh, poor me, blah, 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 boo hoo. All I'm saying is, those, those are the facts. I'm struggling. And, uh, I'll, I'll just continue to struggle until it, uh, Becomes good again. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe a few months from now, maybe even a year. Uh, true yeah. true yeah hopefully man um so like when did the start happening like when like did you have any like warning signs when it first started or Oh, did yeah. it just happen there's okay like uh what Yeah, what it's, sort of happened uh, what was like the progression of uh your current condition Uh, it was, um, I'm just going to check here if Craig is, uh, still in the chat. Oh, recording. Yeah, true. Guess this is some really good content right here. That's a good point. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Uh, yeah. So I, I've had a, you know, swollen stomach, a bloated stomach, and you can laugh about that. I laugh about that myself when I think about it. You know, sometimes I look like, uh, you know, five months pregnant uh, woman, you know, because Oh, of the shit. bloating and uh, Yeah. swollen stuff. And then the constant pain as well. Some t oh, okay, so it started um, like maybe, honestly, I've, 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 ha I've had it like this for about five years, perhaps five years. Oh, But shit. then it's... It's always been, you know, manageable. Mm hmm Manageable. Like two years from now uh, ago, two years ago, it started to become really bad. Before Yeah. those two years, before those two years, it was, you know, okay, I could eat whatever I want. Uh, Mm hmm but I was very swollen. I was very, you know, in pain if I did that. But it was manageable, so to speak. Mm hmm Like uh, two years backwards in time from now, It started to become really, really bad. Uh, and the things that I could eat just, you know, became less and less and less. And I tried different stuff. I tried different techniques. It all just, nothing worked. And it became just worse and worse and worse until what it is today. And it's been like this for about two years And it's not healthy. Um, So, like, over the course of two years, you just, like, gradually, uh, like, limited your diet, like, took stuff out until... You're basically left with just like potatoes and rice. yeah, exactly. So one Can could you say, can you handle things like spices or uh, or not even some, spices? some Some of spices, it, some okay. of it, like I can handle salt, pepper, and uh, persilia. What's the word? Hmm. Persilia Not too sure. or parsley? Parsley? Pars parsley, yeah, parsley. Parsley, true, true, okay. That's the only three spices that I can eat. And like everything else gives you the same reaction of uh, like bloating and pain. Exactly. Damn, man, that's that's rough. So I've been out 
I've been on potatoes and rice and nuts for one and a half year. Very occasionally, very few times, I've managed to eat, uh, you know, maybe a little bit of salad, cucumber, uh, maybe a banana. Nothing more than that. Mm -hmm. Very seldom also. So yeah, that's the state of it all. Mm, okay. Damn. So I don't want to, you know, kill myself, so to speak. But I get those thoughts sometimes. Like, what's the mm -hmm. point of all this? This is not a life. This is not quality. This is... Uh, um, <clears throat> Something that uh, I can't stand. Yeah, for sure, man. That's yeah. It's like, I guess it's probably like tolerable for maybe like the first month, I imagine, or two. But like when you're just doing it, yeah, right, over and over again, it probably gets harder and harder. That's true. But yeah, that's that, uh, and that's depressing. But. Uh... I'll keep going, and uh, I'm optimistic about it. It'll turn out fine in a few months or maybe a year. Uh, true, true. Yeah, that's good, man. I feel like everybody here is like <clears throat> rooting for you. So, um, yeah, hopefully you get that sorted out. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's very thankful. I've met so many good people through the channel. Uh, true, yeah. And I and, and I bet you too. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking about myself, and I'm gonna start talking about you in a few. But uh, I'm just gonna say oh, yeah, this: no that uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna just say this that uh, I've um, met a lot of uh, not a lot of people, but some people are just very nice. You know, good comments. Uh, True. Yeah. Like you say, they they root for you, and uh, yeah, just really good people, and I really appreciate that. Before I started the channel, I was having loads of anxiety and uh, like uh, overwhelming depression. But then I started to focus on something and create creating something. It became a lot better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was I was in a pretty similar situation, um, and I feel like for a lot of people, even like normies, like YouTube is sort of like a form of therapy in a sense and yeah it's just like it's kind of like yeah. a way to like talk and like vent without like a therapist exactly. or whatever and yeah right and also yeah. it kind of like at least for me like it expanded my my social world like a lot because prior to that i was just like yeah. basically just like a hickey so yeah like Hiki Kamori, but um, yeah, I feel like it's definitely I feel like um, what's it called definitely paid off for both of us in a lot of different ways. So true. Yeah, who'd have thought? True. Yeah, I remember back in spring uh, two thousand this year, back in March, Mars or something like that. I was on mm -hmm. YouTube like always, and I came across this Asian guy. And he oh, was true. lying. <laughs> he was lying in his bed, and he was talking about, you know, not having a life, not having any social life. And it, I think his name was uh, Confinit. True. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I thought to myself, this guy is really honest. He's completely open. I mean, it's almost, you know, breathtaking. He's, he's just... Okay. Really, he's really open about it. And I thought to myself, you know, if he is so open about it, maybe I could try that as well, you know. So, uh, you know, to be honest, you were a very big inspirational source for my channel. Oh, damn, man. Um true like i mean i might have not been doing it if i maybe i would but uh, it was 
it was clearly uh, motivational to see your channel before I started my channel, so to speak. So I don't know what you where you get that strength from, that mental strength. Mm. Because well, you I'm did it first. To... True. I'm I'm glad to have uh I don't know, I guess you know quote unquote inspired you in that way. Um, I feel. Yeah, that's true. I feel like uh, I don't know. I feel like I was just really bored, and then I was watching a lot of Daniel Lord at the time, and and um, some other like similar YouTubers, and I was like, hey, uh, it was. I kind of like made a channel more from the point of more from like the perspective of like, you know, why the hell not? You know, like I'm not really doing anything. <laughs> I'm not really. You know, so I was just like, "Fuck it, I'll just make a video and uh, see what happens." Yeah, and yeah. I guess here we are now. Did you feel that uh, you had nothing to lose, so you just did it? Basically, yeah. Because like, I, yeah. I kind of thought about it, and I was like, even if all the people in my life find my channel, I mean, yeah, sure, it'll be embarrassing, but. I mean, yeah. what else do I have going on for me anyway? So, and I was also like, I, I definitely need to find a way to get out of my comfort zone and um, I guess get over like my social anxiety and not talking. And I was like, oh, maybe having a channel will help me practice all these different skills. So I was like, yeah, might as well just make the first video and hmm. That was my yeah. thought process. Yeah. I don't know if I'd like consider what? myself. Like, oh, I don't know if I consider myself like brave or anything, but yeah. 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 Just, yeah. Well, you said something about uh, embarrassing yourself. And, you know, yeah, in a way, we kind of are embarrassing ourselves. But at the same time, you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody, every human being on this planet, you know, says stuff, do stuff, uh, you know, in the public open or, you know, privately when no one watches, that are very embarrassing, so to speak. Uh, true, everybody, true. I think almost everybody have periods in, periods in their lives when they are probably considered, you know, very... Um, you know, embarrassing. Mm -hmm, and it's yeah. like, why don't you, why don't you talk about it? Why aren't you honest and open about it? You know, uh, it's like, and I understand why people don't do that because we live in a society where you have to have a special amount of social status. You have to, you know, this and that. Otherwise, you don't, you know, you have to have the right image and, um, mm -hmm when you apply for jobs and everything and if you want to have a lot of friends you have to have a specific amount of social status blah 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 that's that's the reason i understand that but isn't it more i mean if you if you do all those kinds of things you display your courage right mm -hmm. yeah that's true like it's like a human being who is open, honest, you know, this world doesn't need more fake stuff. <laughs> it needs uh, real people, so to speak. Yeah. True. Yeah. I guess, I guess like our appeal is that generally we like to talk about stuff that people are all thinking but don't want to say in their normal lives, I guess. So Exactly. Uh, that was what I was trying to say, but you said it more in a better way. Gotcha. Huh. But yeah, it's like... So I guess a lot of people probably um, feel it comforting to, uh, I guess, see us and then see hear what we're saying and then they resonate with it. And it's like, oh, so I'm not the only one who was thinking this, who felt like this. And that's probably where a lot of the traction or a lot of the 
that's like the appeal of our channel, I guess, which is, I think, I think we're doing a yeah. good thing for like, I think also in a way, this is like a cool way for like both of us to like, I guess, contribute to society or I don't know, just give back to the world in a sense, but it's just not in the way society expects you to, but I feel like what we're doing is generally a good thing for everybody who is, uh, I don't know, watching, I don't know. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. I think there's the people who just wanna, who just wanna see someone fail and be a lol cow. <laughs> yeah, right. They true, uh, true. they feed on a person who uh, is vulnerable and you know embarrassing, embarrassing himself and those kinds of things. So I think there's those people, but then there's those people who actually are interested or entertained by a person who are nothing and open and truthful about it but actually try to do something you know like watching a journey you know right, uh, yeah. so there's those two 